Hey. A vibe, a vibe, a vibe. What's popping? What's happening? Let me turn you down because I got you like blasting in the speakers right now. Okay. So just I'm putting this on my Instagram. M K X Y Z. I literally love that name. What's so crazy is that I was already following you before today. No. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out where I because you look super familiar. Like, of course, I'm on on the internet. Like, I don't personally, but uh, I'm trying to figure out did did Tank or somebody? Yes. Did, did, okay. Mm -hmm. There's a few. Were you dancing? That Tank posted. Yeah, I was dancing to Cardi B. There we go. I was dancing to Cardi B, um, and then Tank had posted it like I think that was like a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I know I wasn't going crazy because I was just. Like, <laughs> I was like, she looks so familiar. Like, I literally couldn't figure it out. And when I went to your Instagram, I was like, I literally know her from somewhere. And I remember, I think I followed you when Tank posted that video. So, like, I'm almost like a day one fan at this point. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Like, because it was just, it was like, I literally was scrolling because I was like, I've seen her somewhere. Where, where was it? Where was it? I'm going to see the video. I wonder if this okay. specific video, because it was a. Uh... But you, I know you were dancing, and he posted the video on his page, and you were yeah. dancing. Right, I remember. It's it's here, but I, would, I do, do you have it on your page still, or is it gone? No, that's what I'm saying. I think I took it off my page. That's probably if you were looking for it. But honestly, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's. I have to go to the bottom of my page and literally. Why would you take it off? I don't remember. I don't know if I did. I'm not trying sure to rebrand. So did you know Tank personally? Like, how did that even, like, happen? Yes, yes. It's so funny. No one ever asked me about that. But he's, like, one of my mentors. Like, really? I literally, like, he's an OG to me because I've okay. learned so much from him. Like, there was there was literally a time where it was, like, before I did pass it, because there's only two times that I had been to the West Coast. And the first time I went, he was, like, at every party that I was going to. And I was like, you just, okay. we just following each other here. But we I friends. actually met him from a video that went viral. It had got like 6 million views in two days really? uh, that I did with his song. And I was like, ever since then, like he's just been dropping gems. Like I'll be like, really? yo, what's up? Like how's the kids? How's, you know, uh, how's the family and everything? So we just, we always been like tapping in. That's the That's guy. crazy. Okay. okay, so you, so the video that you posted was Cardi B, but you did a, a video of his completely separate. It was to, it was to win we though. I, want, I got some. You got. I need to listen. You had to see this video. Like everybody. The like, thing everybody is, knows. you said what? No, I'm saying the thing is, it's going to drive me crazy if I cannot find out what video it was. Like, cause I was like scrolling for a minute, and I was like, maybe it's not her. But then I was just like, I don't know. I it is. This, it but. is definitely. It I'll, is. I'll, I'll send it to you. I need both, okay? Don't make me go on YouTube have to find it and all that no, stuff. No, it's not on like YouTube. I, I, I feel like I posted it, and I, I might okay. have deleted it, but if it's deleted, then I'll just put it back on my page. So what is it like having Tank as a mentor? Like, what? because did you guys, were you guys, like, like fan, did you guys know each other from, like, fan, friends or anything? Or he literally just, like, kind of saw you were talented and same, was like, The hey. same way that me and my uh, manager – Who's like coach he's like coach mentor he's on he's on another level but the same way that we met just instagram like i was in college so i wasn't traveling around to all these different places i was just putting content out um like forever like i was just consistent with putting out content and every time i put out dancing content, dancing or or music uh no uh like dancing and singing because i wasn't putting out music at the time but i was just like one of those kind of like how tiktok is used now it's like i was just putting out stuff every day just to, like you know, and then literally I remember always tagging my, like, I'll be like fans tag. Like if I did it, I remember doing a Mega Stallion video, like just freestyling and dancing. And I was like, everybody go tag Mega Stallion. And so literally Meg commented under it. Like, that's just kind of how, like, it was just crazy. A lot of those videos, I got rid of them though. Like they're archived, mm -hmm. they're not deleted. They're not deleted, they're just archived. So like if I put okay. them back up. Okay, so they can. Yeah. You but, like, easily pull it back if you need to. Yeah, so if you gotta, if you gotta get the receipt, Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? The receipts are there. Got you. So, but yeah, like, and I just literally um, kept doing that. And it just became a thing. Like, a lot of the content that I was posting was going viral. So then Tank uh, was like, yo, you're dope. Um, and we literally just started a friendship from there. Like, we were just always talking about music. And I would be like, you know, asking for advice if I needed advice. He had a show, and he invited my mom and I out. My mom and I would wow. go to shows. Um, it was like a club appearance show type yeah. thing. 
So we went out there and, you know, he was just, he's so attentive and he's so supportive, like, of, of young artists. So, like, I just, I just thought it was, like, super, super dope. Very authentic person, hands down. Like, I met a lot no, of No, I've met him a few so times and he's always good vibes. Like, just super always. humble, chill. Like, he doesn't act like he's the superstar that he is. Like, he's just, like, super down earth. So Yo, he's, he's right. Can... He's, like, chill. Like, he's yeah. natural. So, but I have to know, what is one piece of advice that Tank gave you that you, like, remember to this day? Like, is there, like, one thing that he told you about, like, being an artist or, like, dealing with fans or music? Or was there any one thing that you can remember that he told you that's, like, you said he dropped some gems. Is there anything, yeah, like, at the did, top of your head that you can so, think of? The day that, um, the day Because we need to I know did. what the legends, what the legends got, like. Yeah, because they always, on. I'm always around. I'm not even going to yeah. hold you. I'm always around. But there was, a, like, it was, like, four in the morning. And it was me and some other, it was, a, like, I think it was, like, another artist and some other people. And it was just some of his good, like, it was some of his people. And we were all in good vibes. It's, like, four in the morning, he was just talking. Because, like, Tank really, like, if you let him talk, he has, like, stories. Like, he has, like, no okay. So Ooh. he was just telling me. Cause I asked him, I was just like, you know, so like just asking him for his honest opinion as I've been going through, um, going through this journey as a new artist. And he was just like, man, like, he's just like, even he'll tell, I don't know what that. Okay. I don't know what that was, but anyway, but he'll, he he even like just have watching the conversations and being present is very much like, you know, protect your energy. That's, that's key. Protect your energy. And then another big one that a lot of young artists make the mistake of, but he was just saying like, this happens, these things happen. Is like whenever, um, whenever you're like, whenever revenue's flowing in, whenever income's coming through, he's like, make sure that you invest, like all these different things that you like, I feel like a lot of people assume for you to go out and know these things, but just in, in case you didn't know, he's a type It's like, in case you didn't know, make sure that you invest in your brand, invest in your business, even though you hear it a million times a day. So it's just a lot of things like, as I as I move through my own process and my own journey, where it's like, oh, like appreciate you, cause like that's just that's something that. to make. Like even like I remember like before I got signed, just having the conversation about like entertainment lawyers and what to expect and different thing like that. Like I remember calling him and I was leaving. I was walking around my downtown, my college campus downtown, um, and I was just like, yo, like so, um, like looking, like what, what are you know? Because you don't know these things when you come, yeah. like when. When you're not in this space and you have no one to go off of, you're just like, hey, what's what do you think? Like, what's your yeah. sense yeah. about it? So he's just super, um, like, at any time that I've called him, he's picked up and he's just like, yo, what's up? What's up? You That's know? amazing. Like, cool vibes. That's so dope. So, so dope. Do you have any other, like, mentors like that? Or is, like, Tank kind of like the one? Because I saw a photo with Queen Latifah. I wasn't sure if there was something. Or That's you just, like, idol. saw a photo. Because. No, that's my idol. Like, I don't know if we can share an idol, but like, that is my full, a thousand percent, whole life idol. Like, have you met her? I haven't, and I think I would cry. So, like, yo, you don't I'm, understand. Dude, like, I was like, I'm tearing up right now. Honestly, like, I literally feel like if I I'm saw in love her, with her, dude, I'm in love with her. That's my, that's my, like, that's like, that's like a, I aspire. Yes, she's yes. at a bar. That's the thing, though. She's at a bar. Like a real it's bar, a bag, a hot. bar, all the beats. Yes, yes. But um, no, so what was that experience like? I now I have to know that so since she's your idol, like, please tell me what was that experience like? Oh, for sure. So I was going to say, speaking of mentors, like, my mentor, like, on mentors, on mentors, of course, is, like, my manager, Tricky. So Tricky, uh, who... As in Tricky? Stewart. Oh. Okay, that's what I figured. I was, I didn't want to, but that's no. Let's okay. be specific. Like, let's okay, be so like, let me first and last because okay. Because I'm it wouldn't, the thing is, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't like my journey and my evolution of artistry wouldn't be um in at this new level if it wasn't for him. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So really, kudos I can to imagine me, because a lot of my relationships, a lot of my relationships, me meeting Queen Latifah came from him connecting me to all these different dots. So like. Um, my, I love my creative director, Binky. I don't know if you know Binky, uh, <laughs> but, um, Binky literally is like God sent. Like, I love her. She like does an amazing job on everything. She's just, oh, such a visionary. But so literally Queen was coming to Atlanta and I'm based in Atlanta right now. And she right. was like, and I said, Binky, I was like, I took, cause all this time, that we've been working together. I was like, Binky, I have to meet Queen one day because she's they're cool or whatever. So I was like, 
I was like, one day when I'm at my, like, <laughs> at my lowest of lows, <laughs> say, like, just say it like that. Like, if I'm at my lowest of lows, I just need her to walk in and, and just be there. She ain't got to look at me. She could just be standing in the corner. She have to say nothing? Uh, yes. She could just be standing. She could be existing. So Binky was like, okay, so boom. So I was like, I was like, wait a minute. Then there's a flyer for Essence Festival that was having a women's conference. Um, and they were holding it like not far from me. So I was like, okay. I was like, Binky, like what, like, can we make some shape? What's good? Right. Right. <laughs> so, so boom. So then she was like, all right, don't get so excited, but uh, this is what's going to go on. And I was like, and I told Trick, I was like, Tricky, can you please bring me like, I need you to take me. I need you to like do the do the thing that you do, this magic do thing what you that you do. do. Yes. We get there and I see her on stage. Demi, like Demi. I, I mean, was, I I was just like, I was like, Cleo, set it off, like, oh my gosh. Coco God is bring out the house. Like just everything. Oh my God. I like. I literally want to cry. I want to cry right now for you because I can completely understand what I would be going through if it were me. So like, I was going. I don't know what I was going through. So we literally finally it's time to meet her, and this is where the real, the real meat and potatoes. And I get up there. So she's in this private room. All these people taking pictures. Blase, blase. Of course, but she moves into a private room, and so tricky. Private room of the private room. Right, but her assistant was like, I'm gonna need you guys to come this way. Because uh, Binky was like, the assistant's gonna introduce you personally, whatever. It's gonna be a little bit more intimate. So I was like, oh my God, intimate. So then, it's happening. like, it's we're happening. walking back there, and then she looks at me. <laughs> I cannot. I literally look at my hat's <laughs> falling off the same way. Like, like literally like she's there and she's just like and i i could not i don't fan girl for nobody like you yeah. could not like i mean like i love beyonce beyonce could walk in the room i will not fan girl like i'll be like yes you better kill it be yes, yes, yes. Be like oh my god like i'm not like tearing up okay tearing up so i'm like trying to hold my together and like my manager so tricky's like this this girl is like your 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 biggest fan in the world and i was okay with that i was like yes, yes let her know yes. let her know like man let the I'm record show let her know let her know because i'm about to let her know so then she's just like but there's a point though let's skip let's skip let's skip because i don't want to make it too long but let's get to the point where she was like i mean you can have my number if you want and i was like i, I said queen i said don't do that I don't give me your it. number now because i'm a call I said, I'll call, okay? <laughs> I'm a call. I was like, don't do that. I'll, I'll like, don't do that. So but it was just cool because she was like, she literally told me, she was like, well, let me get my picture before you get all famous. And I was like, you want to talk about fame? That's crazy. You want to talk about when you play Bessie? Like, you want to talk are we about really, Secret Life? Are we really comparing right now? Like, wow, that is beautiful. Like, th right? And I was like, so wait, did, did she give you her phone number? She gave tricky because I was I was too I was too geeked and she literally was about to and I was like I don't know like to this day I'd be like what is wrong with you why yeah. did you do that but like the thing is like for her to come in on special moments means more yeah. so I was just like you know like I just kind of want to leave that as yes. an artist like I want to leave some sort of fandom that that idea yeah. I don't not explain it like I want to leave that okay. in my in my honestly. Mind. I feel like if I were to have her number, like it would be more of a flex to be able to say like, oh yeah, I got Queen's number like in my phone. But like, what, what, would, you even, what would you even call her? Like, what do you call Queen Latifah and say? Like, what do you even like, I'll what do you even call like, her I'll for? So it's kind of like- annoying. I would be hella yeah. annoying. I'd be like, girl, I just saw you get shot. You set it <laughs> off and I'm crying again. Help me. <laughs> yeah. I am crying again. This is yeah. the middle of time I've watched this movie. Like I I'm just having a and chill. Right, I know you're. I was watching Netflix too. I already know what happens, but I just wanted to know, like, you really did that. Like, that's what I was. You, like. you just, you did. own that. You did it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so amazing. So, so how did you get linked up with Tricky Stewart? Because like he's completely iconic. Like, how did he? How did that connection come about? Iconic. Um, Instagram. <laughs> same, same way as Tate, honestly. But so the so gram. So, so Instagram has been good, good to you has been so oh my gosh she's been so good to me she's yeah. she's a good one she's a keeper she's working i uh, she did that 
she did that she did that for she sure that. i um i literally just but the difference is like uh tricky's tricky's angle was more so like like let's actually work let's make magic together whereas when me and tank had met it was more like mentorship solely yeah. it was like oh let's work let's work let's work like i would love to do this do this like tricky was like yo you're mad talented and you know because he he's iconic of course he's like had the soundtrack of our lives he's helped make that everybody so right? of course i was just like man like this is like like i don't know what opportunity this is going to bring so let's just do it because i wasn't like why is my phone doing that i wasn't looking to be freezing yeah it's someone signed i wasn't i wasn't like okay um trying to be necessarily like an artist off bat like it was just kind of like man like i always do this let's just let's vibe you know even though i've been singing and dancing forever and and making music and, and i've been an artsy kid my entire life i just i never said you know what let me when i grow up i want to be a singer because i yeah. end up going to school for biology so wow. it's just, yeah it was a switch it was a switch. that's cool that's cool that's so cool so good so so instagram linked you guys and it's just been magic so what was your music like because i know the fans want to know what was like your music and everything that you were doing dancing what changed after you link with Tricky, like, because I feel like somebody like him can take, you know, a dope track and like totally flip everything that you have and put it on his back. And that's exactly what happened. Mm. He, he understood the talent that he was working with. He understood that it wasn't small and which is something that I that I immediately like the respect level was different because it's like you would, you would think that because you've been in the game so much, you worked with all the stars, of course, like he, he even worked with B. So it's like, you know, you would think that the bar is like, well, she ain't got it. That's it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it wasn't yeah. like that. It was very much like he understood that I was someone who was willing to work. Yes, I'm yeah. young. Yes, I'm, go I'm going to receive the information and I'm going to prove it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he didn't look at it like, oh, this is a small project. This is just something I'm doing on the side. It was like he understood that there was so much more and that it required curating and cultivating and, yes. and really just being dedicated so that's one thing that i like he took it and he he made it like he he, he pushed it and that's one yes. thing that he's always done it's like anything that he taps into is just crazy he's, he's just such a genius that's so dope i honestly feel like people like him they are more prone to wanting to work with someone who's willing to learn and willing to take the necessary steps to get to that next level versus someone who comes in like this is what i'm doing i'm not changing anything I'm a superstar, take it or leave it. So like he probably saw the raw talent and it was just like, I can work with this. So I can see it. It's lit. It was, so now it was, I, need it know, I need to know how did your name come about? Cause like I saw you do a couple of interviews but they might not have seen it. So how did MKXYZ, how did that? Cause it's such a cool name and it's different and unique. Like how did you kind of come up with that all over your, your name? Yeah, so um, my name is Michaela. Um, okay. and that's the thing that I feel like is because everyone's like, "What's your real name?" Is yeah, that your real name, and I'm like, "No, my my name's Michaela, but um, MK is so me, and that's that's always been my nickname. Everybody calls me okay. MK. Um, but then the X Y Z part because it's like an extension of my name, and it's an extension of myself. And it, the, mm -hmm. when I say it's an extension of myself, um, it means like all the things, all the experiences, all the boxes that I don't fit into is the X Y Z. You know, mm, what I, mean? I, like that. I like that. You know what I mean? And, I, and the yeah. thing is, it's not just for me as an individual. It's for people like you. It's for everybody who's watching the live. It's like there's X, Y, Z in everybody. You know, there is the X, Y, Z in everybody that that's not going to be, you know, labeled and defined and something that you didn't even you didn't even create that term. Like, you know what I mean? That's not even yeah. like if somebody's like, oh, you you must be a tomboy or you must be, you know, like people would always be like, well, are you Asian? Are you Hispanic? Like, are you gay? Are you straight? Are you girly? Are you masculine? Like, what are you? Yeah. And it got to the point where I was using language that I didn't like subscribe to. Like, mm. like so I, was like, I like that. I was like, that's not for me, though. But yeah. I feel like, you know, when you're like trying to figure out how to describe something, everybody goes, Something, something like you know xyz about it like or it's like yeah blase blase xyz and i'm just like that's mm. that's, that's me that's the missing variable literally yeah. that is it so i like that's that. what the xyz is because i was actually I'm, I'm glad you actually touched on that because your bio on instagram has so much it is queer afro 
Filipina, mm -hmm. she, her, daddy, intersectional, womanist, healer, like, it's a lot to you. Like, there's a lot, a lot of layers. It's a lot of layers. <laughs> a a lot lot of layers. Level. So I want to touch on the queer Afro-Filipina. Am I saying it right, Filipina? Mm -hmm. So were, did you have any reservations of kind of like making that like the forefront of your brand? Like you, I, I mean, I love that you're like, heck, this is me. Like, do you have any, any fears about coming to, you know, coming to the industry with all of that? Like just putting no. it right out there right away. Did you have any fears? No, nah, because if, if I even had an inkling of fear, then like if I'm, but the thing is, I like to do what scares me. You know, mm. it's a while to get there because I used to be like, well, you know, like, uh, like when I was younger, like when, I, like before I came out and stuff like that. But yeah. When you go through that journey and you realize that there's many other voices like yours that are silenced, right. then you got to speak up. And for me, I felt like right now, like when you think about, um, when you think about, let's say women's rights and the election coming up. Right. And you right. think about like, well, how many women weren't allowed to vote or how many mm. women of color lost privilege or didn't have yes. privilege to begin with and truly don't even have privilege now if you're if you're being raw about the situation. So <laughs> if you want to get into the hot piping tea, then we can start <laughs> over there. But <laughs> we can start over That's there. Dope. But for That's me, dope. it's been a lot of like, you got to like, I feel my respect like my respect goes to the artists that are mind you i respect all hardworking artists but i'm saying like my real like connection begins with people who are literally unapologetic about what the hell they feel mm. and what That's they want to say like who they are like, yeah. think about it think about it every artist like why did, why does cardi b get like you know what i mean like cardi b has so much She's like why why do? Because she would like she's not afraid to say the stuff that we really be saying to our homegirls, to our homeboys, like to our family, like our sisters, our brothers. Well, we say that stuff. You know what I mean? And, and the industry has changed because we're normalizing. It's okay to be raw. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? it's okay to be raw and talk about what you real, what your reality is. Yes. And if it's I if that's that. some walk, if that's Ooh, some that's walk, yeah, that is no. That's 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 dope. That was really deep. Like I actually got chills. Like, and I think you're right. Absolutely right. Like people like Nick, um, like Cardi B, for example, she is super rock. Like from the beginning, wow. from reality TV up until now, like just not afraid to talk to Joe Biden, to talk to you know whoever, like Joe Biden, whoever, like. And that's why we like you know. And I'm sure that's probably why I, a lot of us have followed you. You have a a, a very big following and I'm sure it's still growing um because you're real like you know you just have that like down to earth like vibe and people like that like we don't like I feel like now especially like quarantine everybody's just so chill and relax like nobody has time for people that are just you know whatever like we like people that are just who they are down to earth fun and I'm sure that's why your fans love you so much so thank you thank you yeah for and we sure. love you being yourself so being unapologetic that's really absolutely funny. Let's talk about this song, Pass It, with G's Easy. I was going with GZ with G Easy. So um, did Tricky make that connection or did Instagram? Because I feel like it's one of the two at this point. It's either Tricky, the manager, or Instagram making this happen. So you talking what, about um, me and G? Yeah, Tricky, your manager, or Tricky, your manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so how Tricky. How I linked up with G or how? Yes, how did you link up with G? I'm trying to figure out, was it, it was Instagram? Okay. It was Hitmaker. So Hitmaker, Hitmaker's like a big brother. But um, literally, when I was in Vegas working on the record, um, and I was just in that vibe, I, I wanted somebody that was going to be in the same pocket. Like, I, like right. you know how, like, some people can, like, they could rap, and they could be so in their own pocket that it can switch the, 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 vibe. the tone, the vibe of music. Yeah. Okay. Rather yeah. than stand in the so it's just like, ah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like um, G Easy is just really like when it came to the whole sound, he was just like right there with it. Like yeah. when you get that uh, zip, zip, zipping through the like, I just felt like he was just in such a vibe with it. Yeah, so it was just perfect. But yeah, I think that's he's good. Make it. I love it. I love all the connections. Like I love how you have a story for everything. Like this is why we love you, MKX. Like this is why we love you. Like you got a story, the vibes. So now, what is in the works? Like, what can you let the fans know? Because a lot of people are like in the D and in the, in the comments and stuff. Um, I know quarantine is happening right now, so I know it stopped a lot of like in-person things that artists were doing. Um, so like, what's kind of like 
you know, the next next steps for you, like coming out of quarantine with things opening back up and shows and stuff like that. What can we expect from you next? Man, I want to I want to tour like yeah. but um, as of right now, I've been virtually touring. So I've been doing a lot of shows, a lot of shows. Wait, like, virtual like, tours? Yes, little virtual tour. Wait, OK. So now like, what kind of so so basically um people do like different session play okay. like, segments and stuff like that and like you can like they bring on different artists um okay. and then sign whatever and you get on you can you know connect with fans and then there's different platforms That's like true. the new one that i'm using um b app the, there's a new app called b like b e um app and yeah. you can get on there and perform and connect and invite people wow. to, to be on the show so that's um, crazy. And all they got to do is download it, you know, and you just you can schedule it. You can be like this. But a lot of the shows that I've been doing, um, it's forced me to become more creative, you know, okay. and, and really dig into that side. But uh, yeah, I've been working on a lot of music, yeah. definitely doing shows and just gearing up for, you know, as we slowly move out of this space and then um, have a record with Lil Baby that's about to that's about to drop. Yeah. Really? When is it dropping? And I don't have a date yet. Oh my god, that's like, gonna be freaking dope. I know, but it's it's crazy. Is... It's crazy. But we're we're working on um visual stuff right now. So okay. definitely it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. Like we can already feel it. Like I can just feel first of all, I'm a little baby like like a, I don't wanna say Stan, but like I just love him in general. Like I just I love all his music. So like I'm already knowing like MK and Lil Baby is about to be a vibe, like period. <laughs> Did you hear? Oh, sorry. You, you you came out a little bit. Yeah, my uh, it's the you know what it is. It's the um the notification that your phone's about to die. The ten. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, like, oh, okay. We don't want the phone to die. But anywho, so any projects coming up? Full projects or kind of like singles until the rest of the year? Yeah, so I'm gonna be dropping like expect a lot of music coming from me. I'm getting ready to drop okay. like 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 fly like drop 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 drop. But definitely have a um album coming out called sweet spot okay hitting you, hitting you right in the sweet spot <laughs> now are we looking for this year or 2021 for the album probably 2021 because okay. i'm so close to the end of the year now yeah it's like um, it's pretty much new year's right now like it's that's what i'm saying like, like, i'm so like <laughs> and like covid pushed a lot of things back for a lot of it did so it did it did it we're patient but we'll be patient fans in the we'll comments We'll be patient. Me and the fans, we will be patient. Okay. So we have the little baby record on the way. Do we have a name for that one yet? I do, but I want to. Wanna... Can't tell. Okay. We quit. But uh, we do have the album we'll Sweet up, Spot on the way, and we will totally be patient. But MK, thank you so 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 much for stopping by. This was so great. Like, yes. I feel like we we connected on uh, Queen Latifah. Like that was our moment. Like we were here. Thanks. Okay. Now I just, I'm gonna let you know when I meet her and how my experience was. If I fainted, because I feel like that's what I would do. I just couldn't be able to take it and just fall out on the floor. Take It'll make. Okay. <laughs> okay. She not gonna give me her number, but that's okay. Like as long as we follow each other on Instagram or something, it'd be cool. It'll be cool. But anyway, you have a great day. Keep doing music. Keep killing it, everyone. I put. Oh, I meant. I meant to pin your Instagram on the bottom, but it's. Um, can you just tell us your Instagram, YouTube, if you have yes. YouTube, Twitter, everything to follow us? I put the comment, but I forgot to pin it. Sorry. No, I, I saw it earlier. Um, everybody, you can find me on all socials at it's MKXYZ. ITS, MKXYZ. Perfect. Oh, and I'm late, but there it is. I found it. Boom. So if you if you can, if you needed to know um, what MK's IG is, here it is right there. And I'm Demi Lobo. And we'll be looking forward to the album coming soon. Thank you, Demi. Thank you, my love. You have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't we love her? Oh, my gosh. She was so great. So great. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We have a few more dope lives. Not, well, not a few. A lot of dope lives that are going to be coming back to back. Thank you for pinning it, um, MKXYZ fans. You guys have been amazing. Um, Lil Baby and NK, yes, they have a, a song coming out. She didn't want to give us the name, but it's okay. Um, new fan, I know I'm totally a new fan too. Um, I know, I can't wait for the new, new music either. She said she has an album coming, uh, 2021. So make sure you guys look out for that. 
Um, but yes, okay, I was trying to make sure I didn't miss any other comments. Uh, again, my name is Demi Lobo, D-E-M-I-L-O-B-O. -L -L. Make sure you guys follow M-K-X-Y-Z. Her Instagram is literally right there so you don't miss a thing. And I will see you guys next time.